let's get into this. This is a horror story right here. Donovan Sharp, he's been getting cooked by Abba and Preach. Yeah. They've been exposing a lot of shit, but he's been exposing a lot of his own horror stories. So this is a story that he shared with mediocre tutorials and reviews and uh, just pearly things. The thing about this story, this story will give every, like, it doesn't, you don't really need a story like this to avoid situations like this because the red flags were so fucking obvious. But for anybody that does need something like this, this story is just a horror story and it's like, yikes. Every, it seems like a lot of these red pill niggas have their, their villain story. Like you seem like they're a sneako getting cucked by his girl, getting fucked in that, uh, that sex party in front of him. How do you do that? That's like his villain story. This seems like it's Donovan Sharp's villain story, but let's get into this. I'm going to give you guys the Reader's Digest version of the girl that I love the most. This story is, it's, it's absolutely crazy. To make a very long story very short, I started paralegal school Hold on, when I was 31 years old. And there's this, uh, there's this hot, hot 19-year-old in my class. We took a shine to each other immediately, right? It was a great relationship we spent every day. And there's this, uh, there's this hot, hot 19 year old in my class. I'm sorry, how old was he? There's this, uh, there's this hot, hot I love the most. This story is, it's, it's absolutely crazy. To make a very long story very short, I started paralegal school when I was 31 years old. And there's this, uh, there's this hot, hot 19 year old in my class. We took a shine to each other immediately, right? What? All right, so you're 31. Took shine to a 19-year-old in paralegal class. All right, let's get into this. It was a great relationship we spent every day together, blah, 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 blah. Red flag number one that I didn't even think about. One day, I had a headache in class because I suffer from migraines, and she recognized that. She says, what's wrong? I said, well, I've got a headache. She's like, all right. Reaches into her purse, and she gives me this big white pillow. I'm like, what is that? She says, it's Vicodin. And I was like, all right. So I took the Vicodin. Headache is gone. What's a 19-year-old doing with a bag full of Vicodin, right? The drug dealer, ah. right? No problem at all. <laughs> red flag, red flag number two. She had homemade, she had, she had, uh, she had homemade tattoo on her wrist, right? Told me she got it when she was. Fi told me she got it when she was 15. Hold on. Red flag number three. Stay with me. Red flag number three. She had a six-year-old. Get him out of here. He's got no place in here. Get rid of him. At this point, at this point, there, this woman, this young lady is screaming red flag. Why are you so? She was 19 years old who had a six-year-old, which means what class? She had her child at 13, 13, which means she was having at 12. It gets even better. The baby daddy was in prison at the time we were dating. Oh. Statutory, no. statutory EPAR. Here's the reason why they didn't throw the book at him with Jessica's Law. Is because she testified to the jury that she seduced him and the jury actually bought it the jury actually bought it so let's 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 set the scene august uh, so my birthday my birthday i open up facebook to get all the all the birthday love she left her account open on my computer on facebook i scrolled through saw all kinds of stuff drove to her place i said i want you to be honest with me have you cheated on me i wanted her to lie to me and I, I wanted her to lie to me so I could just keep up the delusion. She said, honestly, yes. That is the worst. The worst emotional pain I've ever felt in my life to this day. I never will. Dude, I dude, oh. I went to her bathroom. I puked, ripped off the necklace. She's blowing, me up, she's blowing me up at work. She was a walking red flag. You should, like, this is... All day long. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I can't pick up the phone. So finally... I picked up the phone. She's like, hey, I'm sorry. You know, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Da, 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 da. She's like, look, I want to come to your place. I have a birthday surprise for you. So she comes over. She has like this little cupcake and she bought me a watch that she knew I was looking at. Then she turns around and lifts up her shirt. There was my name tattooed on the small of her back. Dude, my hand to the man. So I was back in her. I was back in her clutches. Things went all. It was all downhill from there. Guys, this story gets so much worse. How over That's that toxic shit. Like you seen Krishan uh, have blue face tattooed all over her body, but also have ten niggas up in her phone who he claims may may or may not be the father of the baby. How old were you? I was thirty one. I was thirty one years old. Yeah. I thought you were gonna say seventeen. Oh no 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 no. So, so 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 she continued she she continued cheating on me, right? So I'm always trying to catch her. I lost my job. I lost the place that I was at. 
I, the car that I had was paid for because I paid cash for it. It broke down. I didn't have a job, so I couldn't get it fixed. I'm evicted. I ended up having to live with a couple of her, a couple of her drug addict friends in a quasi crack house. Both people were on felony probation. <laughs> what? You can't. make this up both people the, the the guy and the girl were on probation for felony possession they were on felony probation ankle bracelets the whole night and and so and so i lived there and so i had to live there right and so finally and i kept i, I kept trying to get back with her september 16th baby daddy gets out of prison okay baby daddy gets out of prison i called her up on september 15th i said you know what i can't do it i think you still i think you still love ben I can't do it anymore. Dude, she cried her eyes out. <laughs> Hung up the phone. I stayed up all night long. I couldn't sleep. So I called her up. <clears throat> I called her up the next day. I was like, hey, um, you know, meet me at this, meet me at this gas station. Then I called up my brother and I borrowed eight hundred dollars. He gave me eight hundred dollars. I went to the jewelry store. I bought her a ring, proposed to Stupid. her. Stupid. I proposed to her. <laughs> Listen, it, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I, Yo, listen, pa, it gets sir. worse. It gets worse. I swear to God. People want listen. People wonder why I speak with such conviction about these things, dude. Hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> look, it looks. It gets worse. It gets worse. So she says yes, right? So now you know all of her friends are like, oh, she's getting engaged. Well, eventually she started f***ing the baby daddy behind my back. Of course. So we were in this we were in this love triangle. Anytime she was pissed off at me, she'd go and fuck him. Anytime she was pissed off at him, she would come and uh, she would come and f*** me. So finally on Thanksgiving, um, uh, I had to call my brother. Uh, my, my family was in uh, my family. This was in North Carolina. My brother comes out into this into this quasi crack house and he's kind of looking around and they're all looking up at him like that's your brother. And of course we look alike. And so I'll never forget, man. I'm telling my brother about the situation. He's like, my real name's Alex. He's like, Alex, what are you doing? And I said to him, I said, dude, you can't, you don't choose who you love. I still loved her. That is the number one simp thing to say. You can't choose who you love. So somebody that is aggressively cheating on you who has a Six-year-old child at the age of 19 who is a walking red flag. You can't choose who you love. Yikes. At 31 years of age. So he drives me back after Thanksgiving dinner. This girl calls me up and tells me that she was now engaged to be married to Ben. Right? I'm crushed. I'm heartbroken. I'm crestfallen. I'm doing pills. Wait I'm minute, doing wait, drugs. From, from the time that you recognized the tattoo and she had a six-year-old to the, this time, how long has time has progressed? I met her the first day of the second semester, so right in January. So this happened between January. This happened in one calendar year. This happened in one calendar year. So <laughs> I'm telling you, you can't make this stuff up. So now I've lost her. I've lost her forever. I've lost her forever. So now I'm doing drugs and all this other kind of stuff. During the time I was living at that quasi crack house, they were telling me, yeah, she this guy, that guy. During the summer... During the summer, she lost an exorbitant... She was already a small girl. Yeah. She lost an exorbitant amount of weight. I found out that she was shooting heroin all summer long. I had no idea. She kept... Dude, it was it was unbelievable. So anyway, so New Year's Day comes around. So New Year's Day comes around. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Let me back up. December 10th, the guy... The, so it's a boyfriend and girlfriend the, in, in the crack house. Uh -huh. The guy... I was at the library... The the probation <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen the probation officer arrested the guy so then he went so he's in jail for for probation violation so it's just me and his girlfriend I had no interest in her I, I it was it was not like that at all well he was feeling some type of way about the fact that I was staying there so he called his landlord and told him that I was staying there without their permission New Year's Day little Jamaican man comes to the door he points at me he's like you don't live here and if you're not out of here by nine o'clock the next morning the sheriff will come and put you out. Called my brother again. I was like, dude, I'm, I mean, I'm going to be homeless. So he bought me a bus ticket uh, to Atlanta and I go down, I, I go down to, uh, to Atlanta where my mother and brother were living and kind of started over then. So I lived in Atlanta for six months, decided to move to Vegas. It was a bit, th that's a whole big long story. A couple of months into living in Vegas, I get a phone call from a mutual friend of ours, me and the girls, right? 
And she's like, you are never going to believe this. I was like, well, what happened? She said, Ben is dead. I was like, this is her husband now, right? The baby daddy. They got married. She says, Ben is dead. Here's what happened. Two weeks after she married this guy, she started having an affair. Hold up. What is this shit? Right? She started cheating on him. She's a lovely lady. Dude. So the story goes is that he gave her 20 bucks to go out and get Chinese food. She took her daughter with her, goes to the guy's house, calls him up, calls him up and says, hey, I'm leaving you and I'm going to I'm going to be here with this guy with the daughter. Of course, he loses his mind. He drives out to the trailer. He starts kicking in the door. The guy on the other side of the door says, if you kick down this door, I am going to shoot you. He kicked down the door and caught a shotgun slug to the chest, done and killed immediately. It gets even worse. Uh, uh, they had to put an ankle bracelet on her because they suspect that she might be the shooter, right? Let's back up one more time. And again, this is all relevant. I'm dr this is when I still had my car. I'm driving to her, to, to her place from work. Driving to her place from work. I get to her I get to her place, and there are three cop cars in the driveway. I'm thinking it's because of, their, uh, because of something that happened next door because the dude was always beating on his girl, right? That's the kind of place this was. The cops were at her place. She got arrested for possession. The, guy, the people I was staying with had called the cops and ratted her out. So now she's in jail, right? And of, and of course, I have to save my fair maiden. I called up an old roommate and borrowed $1,350 to bail her out. God. Yo. She gets out. I love you. I love you. Then goes right back to Ben. Then goes right back to Ben. So now we fast forward. Ben, said ben was dead. I, I, I backed up. He backed up. I, oh, I, I, okay, yeah, yeah. okay. This, this was before. Oh, okay. So, so, wait, wait. so now. So, so. so you bailed out. Yep. The, the young lady yep. who had left you yep. to go back and then so when you you borrowed the money. <laughs> it was back and forth. You borrowed the money. So you had to pay back this money to someone else who has nothing to do with the situation. And then she went back straight while she had the tattoo of you on her. Yep. Okay. Keep going. What I, the I got, fuck like, were you thinking? To ask you when this is... I'm almost <laughs> done. <laughs> I'm almost oh, done. Shit. So now we fast forward. So Ben is now dead. I don't know how they got away with it, but ben he's not dead. like he's not like the guy is not in jail. She ends up marrying the guy that killed Ben and had another daughter. So in the end, this was the original baby daddy. The original baby daddy okay. is dead. The original baby daddy. Oh, ben was the original baby. Ben was the original yeah. baby okay. daddy. Okay. But ben the was... lovely lady went to the, the guy who guy. killed Ben. And yes. Now, okay. So and and so now so wow. she ended up marrying the guy who killed her 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 first husband. Had another daughter with him. So the so the father of her first child was killed by the father of her second child. Man, you stupid bitch! You cannot make this up. And so, this is why people always wonder why I'm such a I'm such a I'm, I'm so passionate and I'm so sure. I have seen the worst. I've been in the worst of the worst situations. It is the worst situation I have ever been in. Stop it! Get some help. I don't know what prompted him to start telling all these embarrassing stories. This story will help people see the clear, obvious red flags that should be visible to everybody. But if you're not smart enough to see these red flags because you're such a simp at that moment. You stupid. Where you're pedestalizing this 19-year-old girl with a 6-year-old child. Mm. At the age of 31. Mm. If you're somebody like that that needs the help to see that, 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 that this story will be useful for you. But for the most part, I don't know what this nigga was thinking, man. That's one of them shits you take to the grave. You borrowed you bought you borrowed eight hundred dollars from your brother to buy a ring. Eight hundred dollars. Damn, son, where'd you find this? For an engagement ring. Stop it. Get some help. What the hell was that shit made out of? These nuts. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Got <laughs> it! Holy, this is this is so bad. And then thirteen hundred to bail her out when she was married to somebody else. Beta. What up, Lady Hotep? I didn't even say what what up to you. My bad. Um, like to say what up to everybody in the chat as they say what up. 
But yeah, we're gonna wrap this one up. Not much to say about this. This is an all around. This is that was terrible. Shout out to him for sharing the story. Good entertainment. <laughs>